In this short video, I'm going to talk about how engineers can contribute towards sustainability. And the first question that you might have is, what does an engineer actually do? So I am a chemical engineer myself by training. And what an engineer really does is finding solutions for problems. And we do that using science, technology and maths. So now we know what an engineer does. Let's think about what the concept of sustainability really is. So when a process is sustainable, it means that it can keep on going without de depleting the resources, so the things that you use in the process itself. Most people, when you think of sustainability, we think of a societal goal in terms of living in planet Earth for a very long period of time. So not just during your own lifetime, but also for many, many generations coming after you. We are facing major challenges in terms of environmental sustainability. So this includes, for instance, climate change, pollution of air and water and loss of biodiversity, meaning that we have less species of animals on this planet. Now, and climate change is a real problem. And particularly the term that you will come across is associated with this is achieving net zero. Now, net zero means that you have a balance between greenhouse gases coming into the atmosphere and the ones that we take out. So at the moment there is an imbalance. It means that we emit more, and this is why you get a heating up of our planet, than that we take out. So think of it when you take a bath, for instance. You have it at a certain level and you can draw something out, which would be coming out from our atmosphere, but you can also put in more by, for instance, turning on the tap. And at the moment there's a real imbalance between these two. So essentially what we need to do is making sure that we use as little resources as possible and use more sustainable technologies to achieve this. While we can take, for instance, more out of the atmosphere by planting more trees, which can absorb the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. In 2015, the United Nations set 17 sustainable development goals and nearly 170 targets that are supposed to be reached by 2030. So not that long to go, really. But let's have a look at what these 17 sustainable development goals are and how engineers can contribute toward those. So I'll pick out a few of them, but in essence, engineers should have an impact for each of these development goals. Six, which is clean water and sanitation. For us, it seems normal that we can just drink water from the tap without getting sick from it. However, millions of people don't have access to clean or to safe drinking water. Then also because of climate change, we, because the planet is heating up, we have less rainfall. So that's another concern that there might be a shortage of water in the future. So engineers work in wastewater treatment facilities in order to purify the water. And in some cases, they can also harness energy from the waste that we have in water. Sustainable Development Goal 7 is clean and affordable energy. And this is all about finding alternatives to traditional burning of coals and fossil fuels. The ways to achieve this could be, for instance, having solar panels on your roof, or I mentioned before, we can harness uh, energy from our waste. So for instance, goal number nine is industry, innovation and infrastructure. So engineers can work in production facilities to make processes more efficient. So they can also come up with new processes that might be more sustainable. Another important aspect of this is transport that you use in daily life. So I come from the Netherlands where people cycle a lot. So you know that that's a better alternative to, for instance, taking your car. But engineers also work on, for instance, electric cars and making sure that we can make that mode of transport more sustainable. Goal number 12 is responsible production and consumption. So engineers can work on the production side, but you can also have an impact on the consumption of it. And a key thing here is, for instance, plastic waste. Let's just have a look at the food packaging that you have at home and if you can perhaps make more responsible choices. We can reduce this. For instance, we're actively reducing the number of plastic bags, but also recycling plays a key part in this. So making sure that you separate out your waste and giving people the opportunity to actually recycle things in the proper manner. And this is where the concept of circular economy is very important, which means that we can keep using materials for as long as possible before we have to dispose of them. 
But you can see how all of this feeds into, for instance, goal 13, which is climate action, or 14, which is life underwater, or life on land, which is also related to us. So engineering can be a very rewarding career and you're able to make a big difference by having influence on sustainability. But then again, I've also given you plenty of examples how you, as a consumer yourself, by for instance, responsible use of uh, plastic waste can make a big difference. Now, if you want to find more out the kind of projects that engineers undertake to improve sustainability, and here we will show an example of how we can do more sustainable 3D printing and have a look at this video.